Good evening. I It's been a while since I've done a live, um, but I want to come live. Even though it's a little late in the evening, um, I wanted to come live and share a few things um, <clears throat> with you. Um, just had some pop-ups. One second. Um, okay. Okay, I think it's okay now. Um, I know it's a little late in the evening, but I have some things that um, I want to share. So um, I'll just go ahead and start. Um, I have the Sense of the Season that released um, Monday last week. Um, I have those to share. I have the Holiday Bricks and um, the November Whiff Box. So um, I will start with... I'll just start with the bricks. So we have five massive bricks. If you have never seen um, a brick before, it is about five and a half bars. So this is a bar. Um, I have used a couple of cubes from it, but um, you can see it's quite a lot smaller than um, a brick. So this is a full pound of wax. This is approximately three ounces. Okay, so the first scent that we have is spiced eggnog. And just to give you um, a tip, some of these, I think two of them, have uh, some cubes missing. Um, and that's because I've made some samples of those and I'll make some samples of the, um, the rest of them. I just haven't gotten to them yet. But this is a very, very sweet scent. Um, and um, it, it smells like eggnog, but it's very sweet to me. Um, there's not any kind of um, an alcohol or booze note in it, but it just smells like a, a sweet eggnog drink. Um, and I'll read the scent description. Um, let's see. Um, spiced eggnog is ground clove simmers with simmers in a festive blend of buttered rum and creamy eggnog. It smells, um, I do smell that buttered rum smell. So like, um, kind of like the taste of the butter rum lifesavers. It's kind of what this smells like. It's a little sweet for me, but, um, I not, um, I'm pretty sensitive to sweet smells, so um, this isn't overly sweet. I would I would say it's not overly sweet, um, like um, a buttercream or something like that. But this is um, definitely um, sweet, but it's nice. Um, next, this one I've uh, taken some cubes out and made some samples. Um, this one is fluffy fleece, and this is. Um, sort of a, a florally fresh, almost like a laundry smell. It's nice. It's, it definitely is like a cozy, clean, kind of fresh. Um, it, it smells like, like a clean, cozy blanket. Um, and I will read that scent description. It is... Black currant and cozy musk bundle up beneath a blanket of heliotrope. I don't know what heliotrope smells like. Um, I know what musk smells like, and so I can understand that, and I apologize for my dog. Um, and black currant is fruity, but I don't really smell the fruity note. Um, like I said, it smells sort of like a clean laundry smell. Next is Vanilla Cinnamon Maple. This is very maple-y to me. Um, I don't smell the um, cinnamon. It doesn't smell syrupy though. Um, it is sweet. I smell 
I can smell vanilla and maple, but not cinnamon. It kind of reminds me of the maple apple bourbon, if you've tried that, but not the bourbon, no. And definitely no apple. Um, it is... It's more sweet to me. I don't really smell any spice. Um, that doesn't mean that somebody else will smell it. It's probably just my nose. Um, vanilla cinnamon maple. A cinnamon stick warms buttery maple atop a mountain of whipped sweet cream. So it is sweet. <laughs> if you like sweet, you'll probably like this. Unless, you know, like you don't like cinnamon or maple, then maybe you won't. But it's pretty good for maple. I'm not big on maple. Um, okay, sweet orange pomander. Um, this this one smells very um, spicy, um, and I can smell the the citrus, the orange, but I'm not really sure what else I smell. And I haven't read the scent descriptions until now, so let's see. Um, sweet orange pomander is sparkling clove and cinnamon stick. Uh, I can smell the, I, it's clove, I can smell. Um, cinnamon stick and, um, hold on. Sparkling clove and cinnamon stick adorn sweet orange in a dazzling display. It's pretty good. I haven't warmed this, um, but I have made some samples out of it. And um, my samples are pretty simple. I just slice the wax with a knife and move along. <laughs> um, so none of this has been warmed. I um, I definitely want to try this one. This is um, pretty spicy, and I like um, spicy scents in the fall. Actually, I love them. Um, and so this is probably... Mm, that the last one I I think is going to be my favorite, but so far this one this one is um, sweet orange pomander. Okay, so we have uh, pink poinsettia, and um, so I've heard about this one, and I've heard that it's not florally, so it's a, and it's a really pretty uh, pinkish wax. And it is not florally. It's kind of fruity, but I don't know what it is. Let's see. Hmm. Maybe some berries. I don't... I don't even know, but it, I like it. It's kind of fruity. Um, and it, to me, it has a little bit of a citrus note to it, and I like citrus. One of my most favorite scents is sun citrus. Um, and, uh, so I'm just going to read the description for Pink Poinsettia. Um, crisp plum, oh, plum, I like plum, and blackberry. Plum and blackberry. Um, celebrate the season with a burst of pomegranate, and that's probably the tart note. I love pomegranate, pomegranate juice. Um, yeah. That is, um, that's my favorite one. So I'll probably um, try that one out first. And of, of those, I'll probably do pink, uh, pink poinsettia and um, orange, what's it called? Orange, uh, sweet orange pomander. Those two would probably go in my Scentsy Club. Um, those are those are really really nice. <clears throat> okay, so moving right along, we have um, the Scents of the Season that released on Monday last week. Um, I got these really really fast. Um, I also got some other things. Um, that I'll share with you in other videos later on in the week. Um, but it comes in, usually you have a choice to order the bars or <clears throat> get this set with or without a package. Usually it's like a, a stocking or something, but they're, um, they're all in this, um, 
this little gift box, which is really, really cute, very festive. Um, so if this is something you would like to gift, um, definitely pick this up. It, I mean, you don't even really have to wrap it. It's already in a nice festive box. <coughs> um, all right, so I'm take the lid off. The bars are uh, stacked neatly inside. And there are um, there are five cents, and so under <coughs> excuse me the the left side is a little riser for the two bars on that side to sit on so that it's even. <coughs> excuse me. So we have some new scents in um, in these um, in this collection. So the scents for this collection are Bayberry and Current, which is new, Cookies for Santa, which is returning from last year, Fireside Chats, which is new, um, also new is Spiced Apple Chestnut, and then a return um, from years past is Wassail Wonderland, which is a really nice scent. Okay, so I picked up uh, Fireside Chats, um, and this is literally the first time I'm opening these, um, so, well, it's new except for the two that are returning. These are all new for me, so I'm going to take the wax out. Hmm. This is nice. It's very, it reminds me of, um, definitely, um, oh wow. There's definitely uh, like, um, like a fire note in there, like, um, like from a fireplace, like the smell of, of a campfire or um, wood burning in your fireplace. Seems like there's a little bit of spice. It's not super strong either. Definitely a spice and, um, well, looking at the packaging, there's probably some orange in there. But I'm not picking that up. Um, <clears throat> I'm also, <clears throat> excuse me, not picking up any of the, the tree notes. Because if you see on the packaging, there are some, um, like, uh, branches from, uh, or garland. Um, and I, I definitely don't smell that. But I do, like I said, it smells kind of uh, spicy. But definitely what I get the most of is sort of like that burnt ember sort of smell that wood burning kind of so it's not huh it's more like when the fire dies down and you can just smell that that nice cozy char smell so anyway i'll read the description for this one and it is fireside chats so it's shaved nutmeg um, and blood orange warmed by cinnamon and smoldering embers. So, um, I definitely get the embers and the spicy note, but I don't pick up any of the citrus. But this is nice. Um, I'm not sure if I put this in my club, but maybe. Um, I think Brandon will really like this one. He likes Around the Campfire, which is a fall scent, and it just smells like burnt wood. <laughs> There's nothing extra. It just smells like burnt wood, but he likes that smell. So next we have Cookies for Santa. Um, this is, like I said, a returning scent from last year. It's a really nice scent. It's very sweet. It's um, very vanilla. It smells like um, butter cookies. Hmm. Um, like um, if you make sugar cookies that are very buttery, 
that's what this smells like. It is really good. It's, they're it's very, very buttery, though. Um, and so the sin description for Cookies for Santa is treat the man in the red suit to baked sugar cookie topped with brown sugar and a sip of milk. It's a really nice. And so especially for those of you who really like sweet scents or... Um, for me, it's it's very sweet, but um, and Brandon likes the bakery scents, and I know that he loves this one. Um, but if you like bakery scents, I you'll love this. Um, and these can go into your club, um, and you can get it for as long as you want. Um, yeah, so I don't think I'll add that one, um, just because I don't think we would warm it um, but maybe fireside chat so next we have bayberry and currant um, and this one uh, uh, has some I have a vacuum going in <laughs> um, Brandon is vacuuming so um, if you can hear that um, I apologize and I have another pop up on my screen so hold on just a moment. There we go. Um, so this is you can a pretty like teal kind of colored wax. I don't think that that's coming through on my camera. It looks more like a slate blue on my screen. But this is definitely um, oh, sort of a teal. This this smells. It's very fresh. It's like, um, when I smell it, it's like, um, oh, kind of like when you're out in the cold snow, uh, when it's snowy and you're out in the cold and that crisp biting cold air and you breathe it in, how fresh that is. And then also, oh. There's definitely like a rustic tree note to this. Like, I don't know if it's pine or spruce or fir or what, but it's it's really nice. Um, I don't know that I would warm it outside of this season, but I would definitely try it. Um, it's possibly, I did say rustic, so possibly just a hint masculine um so let's read the description uh bayberry and current a wreath of peppery bayberry and fresh juniper adorned with bright current well i don't know what juniper smells like but it must smell like tree um but yeah i think this is really nice i definitely oh i definitely want to pick up um another couple of bars of this just so I can put it around the house um, one bar does not work for all my warmers so you can see I have several back there most of them do get wax put in them um, but definitely not all of them I'm actually re redoing my display back there so um, that will um, it's getting kind of a facelift the, the top of it is um, getting redone for the um, the holiday season too. So um, next we have spiced apple chestnut, um, and this that's cute. It's got little mugs and oh sorry you can't see that little mugs and um, apples and chestnuts and leaves. Oh that's nice. I'm I'm team apple so. Um, I used to be Team Pumpkin, um, and then I kind of liked them both, but now I, I love apple scents. This is nice. It's nice and apple-y, but not super strong, if that makes sense. Um, I can smell spice, so maybe like some cinnamon, maybe some nutmeg. Oh, that's nice. 
it kind of reminds me of a a candy apple um, like if it had nuts on it really like a, a a caramel or toffee apple has nuts on the outside um, but a candy apple doesn't but it but it's not super sweet oh I I really like this this is mm. I think that is club worthy. So spiced apple chestnut is apple and maple wood simmer in a festive spiced rum. It is really, really nice. Um, oh, you know what? It kind of it kinda tastes, it kind of smells like the taste of apple cider. Like if you put spices in it. It's really nice. That I think that is definitely club worthy. And then last but not least, we have Wassail Wonderland. Um, and th this is a returning scent. Um, this has been in the scents of the season, um, I think a few years. Um, and it, if you had Wassail or Wassail, we used to have it like, um, when I went to college as a traditional college student, I um, um, I went to Anderson University, and um, in the end of the the fall semester, um, the professors would come in the cafeteria and um, serve us. Um, they called it wassail, and it was like a spiced orange. Um, it's a hot spiced orange beverage and that's the only time I've ever had it but it was good um, and that reminds me of this except <laughs> in this it definitely smells like a um, like a bit of tree note for some reason and I don't remember that um, from last year or when it was available any of the other years but what I smell is Christmas tree and a little bit of I smell orange peel and I do get a hint of spice but I'm not sure um, what may well, there are cinnamon sticks on there so maybe that's what it is but it's not really strong so I smell orange and but it's more like an orange peel and so I think that's what's um, smelling like Christmas tree to me. Um, so, um, orange zest, lemon peel, and cinnamon sticks over fresh fur needles. So, there it is, all of the above. Um, peel, so the zest is, is part of the peel, but then there's lemon peel, and then um, fur needles. So, I do, there's definitely um, a tree note there. Um, <clears throat> this is definitely a festive scent. Um, like the Bayberry and Current. Um, this is available um, while supplies last, just like the bricks are. Um, <clears throat> and again, it comes in a, a really cute, festive um, gift box. Um, so yeah, if you are interested in um, getting one of those, um, just visit my website. Um, or if you um, already have another consultant that you work with, um, feel free to visit them. Sorry, I thought my dog was in here, but he's just, oh, he is in here. Huh. Um, anyway, um, all right, so next is the November with box. This finally came. Um, <clears throat> um, so, Every month, if you're not aware of the Whiff Box, um, every month Scentsy curates a mystery box that um, um, costs $30 in U.S. pricing, and it has more than $30 worth of full-size pr uh, products in it. Um, and there's always a theme, so um, I guess we'll find out together what this one is. Um, so... Okay, so usually there's a, um, there's a paper in here that kind of goes over what, um, what's available in the, 
little dog. He's making a bed in the little bed. And he has it, um, his little hoodie on that says, pardon my swag. Um, anyway, so usually there is, um, like I said, a paper here that, that details kind of what's in the box or what the theme of the box is. And there's um, often a little activity you can do. Um, sometimes there's Sensi air or a little <laughs> air pillow to keep things from shifting too much. Um, and then the top always says sent with love. Um, and then let's see. So first we have a scent circle in, I don't know if you can see that, Vanilla Mint. Um, Vanilla Mint is one of my favorite, favorite scents. I think it should be a year round scent. It used to be. But um, since he changed that and made it um, just like a fall winter scent, um, but is really, really good. And I think it is worthy of being a year round fragrance. Um, it's just, um, it's a sweet mint. Um, so like a sweet vanilla and mint, it's really good. Um, and it's not too sweet. Um, so maybe like, um, some people say like butter mints, but I don't like butter mints. And, but I like this. Anyway, so, oops, I'm going to drop it on the floor. Moving on. Um, uh, we have a counter clean in evergreen and grapefruit. Um, if you have never tried our counter clean, it is an amazing product. You don't just need, um, you can use it on so much more than counters. Um, you can use it on pretty much anything that doesn't walk away. <laughs> so like if you have a stain on your rug or on your cloth sofa, you just spray it on there and it, it takes it out. It's um, absolutely amazing. It's shocking how well it works. Um, you can also um, clean your microwave with it, um, your oven door um, if it's grimy. Uh, it's really, really good at um, cleaning. It's a powerhouse. Next, um, we have Arctic Kiss Bar. This was the scent of the month. Um, I believe it was December last year. Maybe it was January this year. Oh my gosh, I love Arctic Kiss. It is so, so good. It's so fresh and... Um, Oh, it's so good. I think this could be a, a year-round scent as well. Oh. I think it's it's fruity fresh, but um, oh, it's just so good. It it smells clean and fresh and fruity. I have probably three or four bricks in Arcticus. Don't tell anybody I hoard bricks. I'm just kidding. I do have several bricks that I've been trying to get through, but um, anyway, Arctic Kiss is one I have several bricks of. Um, and then, if you haven't tried Arctic Kiss, it's really, really good. One of my favorites, like I said. Um, and then Polar Bear Hug. If you've ever tried Eskimo, Eskimo Kiss, this is Polar Bear Hug, or that is Polar Bear Hug. So we, um, we still have the same scent, but we changed the name from... Um, since he changed the name from Eskimo Kiss to Polar Bear Hug, and this is one of my um, one of my favorites. It's um, it's a nice fruity. Oh, mm. It's a fruity winter scent. It is really really good. Um, oh, I love this. Um, I wonder what they smell like together. So if you're ever curious about what um, two scents might smell like together if you warm them in the same warmer, all you have to do is put them side by side, stick your nose in the middle, maybe give them a little rub. Hmm, that smells really nice. I may end up mixing those. All right, and then the last full-size product we have in the paper is falling out is a fragrance flower and a fragrance flower is sorry um 
This one is in Joy and Wonder, and it is the style of Dahlia, um, which I I prefer the Dahlia um, style. Not this stuff over. So this is the Buttercup Bell um, fragrance flower um, that I have on my other desk. Um, I don't like it as well. Um, it doesn't seem like I don't. It just kind of sits there, and I don't know. I just don't like the way, like the the sorry, the petals are like droopy, and um, I haven't had that. This is the first time using a Buttercup Bell. Um, some people might like this style, this look, and that's fine. It's just personal preference for me. That I like the Dahlia. Um, the Dahlia style, um, which I can give you a little peek, but, um, the, um, fragrance flower is Scentsy's version of a reed diffuser, and so there's this little silver ring, um, and if you pop your oil out, um, it's sealed with plastic, but, um, if you take the black cap off, there's like a little stopper inside, and then you pop that out and then um, screw your silver cap on. Um, and then there's the hole inside where you would stick your um, your flower, which is your diffuser. Um, so let me just take this out. Um, okay. And this is what the Dahlia style looks like. There are lots of little tiny leaves um, or petals. Um, and these are made from solo wood and, and they're hand carved. So there's a lot of work that goes into them and they're really, really cool. <clears throat> and then this is your wick that goes down into the oil uh, jar. And um, if you want to... Um, color the tips of your petals with um, oil-based markers such as Sharpies um, when the before you add it to the oil that gives like a really cool effect to um, to the um, the petals because the the ink will then bleed um, down the petal some and it looks really really cool all right so put this back Maybe. There we go. I hear a dog whining. It's my puppy. All right. Um. So, oh, uh, I almost missed it. We have a little. This is one of the best parts about getting a whiff box. It's a little um, sample of black forest pine, which is the scent of the month for December. Um, I did get my um, my scent and warmer of the month box on Friday, I think, um, and so I'll be sharing that with you um, this week as well. Um, but let me, let's do a little first sniff with this. Like I said, this is one of the best parts of getting a whiff box. I can't get it open. Um, you kind of get like a a sneak sniff of the next month's uh, scent of the month. This is really stuck on him. It used to be they were too loose and they would just fall off, but now they're really stuck on there. Black forest pine. It's definitely piney. <laughs> oh boy. The little, the little edge is kind of breaking off, but Oh, that is, there's something really kind of, what is that? It's, oh, I'm afraid to say more, I guess kind of like a eucalyptus mixed with the pine. It's good. It's good. I, one of my, um, my favorites for, uh, the tree smells is iced pine. I don't like spruce, um, but I do like the iced pine. Um, but I want to see what the scent description is for that. 
It's definitely very, very piney. Let's see. See if I can find it. Bear with me a moment. can't wait to share this one with you. It's so pretty. Okay. Alright. The scent description. Oh. Dark fir balsam accented with pepper tangerine and an air of smoked vanilla. I definitely get the peppered part. Mmm. That's really nice. I, I'm definitely going to try this. In fact, I'm, I don't have anything in my, um, in either of my warmers on my desks. Um, so I have a full size warmer over here and then I have a, um, a mini with a tabletop base over here. And I think I'll just pop this in my, in my mini and give it a, a try, but, ooh, that is good. So the base notes are dark fir balsam, black walnut, smoked vanilla. The mid notes are green apple, aged cedarwood, lush oak moss. Oh, here we go. Top notes, cool eucalyptus. I did get that. Pine needles. Um, I get the pine and the, and the eucalyptus. And pepper tangerine. Mm, that is really nice. And I'm not usually a fan of tree scents, but that that is one of uh, the nicer ones. So that is everything from our um, November Whiff box, aside from the uh, crinkle paper. Uh, so let's see. This is pretty good price points so we have three for the scent circle, 12 for the bars because they're six dollars each and then the fragrance flowers are 16 right? Hmm. I feel like... Uh, yeah. Mm, yes because you get three... okay yeah. 16 okay and then the counter clean is 10 I almost forgot that and so all together so 10 for the counter clean 16 for the fragrance flower that's 26 um, 12 um, so 38 and 3 for the scent circle $41 that's the the value of this box um, and this is available through the end of the month um, and then in December, on December 1st, a new, um, a new one starts. Um, so yeah, um, if they're out of any of the fragrances, we usually don't run out of, um, wax. Um, we did last year a lot because obviously people were home and nothing else to do but shop online. And so we did run out of wax a lot, but, um, <clears throat> this year since he has done an incredible job of, keeping wax in stock so um, it, you should get probably get what is here but if anything does run out then you'll get a similar product so um, maybe this fragrance flower that's in joy and wonder which is um, a scent that's in the um, holiday collection um, and it's really nice if you haven't tried it you should pick it up um, if they run out of this one, then they would just sub in a fragrance flower of a different scent. Um, or if they don't have any more vanilla mint um, scent circles, get a scent circle in a different scent. Um, but yeah, otherwise it should be pretty much the same as this. And um, 
one of the highest valued um, whiff boxes that I've received. Um, they are usually around that $36 mark in my experience. Um, and then you usually do get a few samples, but that doesn't go against the value or add into the value of the box. They're just things for you to try extra. And like I said, you almost always get um, a first sniff or a sneak sniff of the um, next month's scent of the month. Um, anything else I'm wanting to say about this box? I don't think so. Um, but yeah, if you want to pick this up or a scent of the season, uh, sense of the season pack or collection that is still available. Let me put this back before I knock it over. Um, and um, the bricks, um, as far, let me make sure because I don't want to steer you wrong. I believe that they're both still available. So just one moment. Um, nope. Let's see. The bricks. Yep, the bricks are all still available. Um, they're $24 each, or you can get two for $40, um, and you can mix and match. So. Um, even if there's only one that you want, if you have a, a friend or family member who would also like only one, go in together and save yourself four bucks each. Um, yeah. Um, and then Sense of the Season. You can purchase those separately uh, for $6 a piece, and they are available to be um, added to a bundle and save um, for you know buy five get one free or six for thirty um, or you can get the five bars for twenty five dollars in the in the set with the, the gift box um, and all of that is still available and then let me check about the whiff box mm -hmm. Sometimes that does sell out too. Nope, that's still available as well. Um, so if you want to pick up any of those, just go to my website. It's easy, Sasha Smells, S-A-C-H-A-S-M-E-L-L-S, -S -S, all one word, dot com. And um, go under collections, and um, that's where you'll find all of those. Um, uh, they're in the Scentsy Collections. Um, and then, so I want to let you know, I know we're running long here, this is a bit of a long video, I figured it might be, but I want to let you know what's launching tomorrow. So last week we had um, a huge um, release day on Monday, um, and tomorrow is going to be another mega Monday release day. Um, so without further ado, let me get my, um, let me get my information here, um, oops, nope, bear with me just one moment please. We have four, I believe four things launching tomorrow. Um, <clears throat> and when I'm, when I'm done with um, the live, I'll go back through and I'll add some images into the comment section um, so that you can see um, better. I'll try to show you from my phone, but um, I'll go back in and show you, um, share photos. So tomorrow is um, the Beauty and the Beast, um, Buddy, it's just the Beast, and he comes with, um, what is the scent called? Um, the Last Petal Fragrance. So, he is really cute. Um, he kind of, he kind of reminds me of the stuffed animal beast 
that um, my nephew got when he was, um, I think he might have been like two or three, um, and it absolutely terrified him. Um, <laughs> but he loved Beauty and the Beast. Um, he liked the Beast a lot. Um, but this is really awesome. So, um, this is, um, it says, the Beast Cincy Buddy is all dressed up and looking for someone to love him in return. Fans will surely fall in love with his exquisite details from the horns to the horns on his head to the claws on his feet. And if you didn't notice, I mean, he's pretty spot on. I'll show you one more time. Uh, he's got great horns on his head and, and the claws on his um, hands and feet are pretty great. So I don't know if you can see that very well, but see his horns and then on his feet and, and hands, um, he's got really nice claws. Um, sharp claws can be nice. Um, and then the scent, the scent again is the last petal and the scent description is fresh pink grapefruit and sparkling bergamot kick off the radiant first chapter while scattered flower petals write an unforgettably romantic en ending. I have not smelled this fragrance yet. Um, I, I did pick up the, um, the Mrs. Potts and Chip warmers when they were available, but I didn't buy the bar. Um, but I might pick up this bar tomorrow just so I can give it a, um, a smell and try it out. I'm not really a, a flowery scent smell, uh, a fan of flowery smells. Um, and I don't really care for grapefruit, <clears throat> but I might like it. You never know. Um, so the Beast Buddy is uh, $45. It comes with the scent pack. Um, if you want the bar, um, it's $6.50 each. You can also add that to a six pack of licensed bars. Um, and I believe those are $32 for the six pack. Um, and then the last petal scent, scent pack, if you want to pick up um, any extra scent packs, those are $7.50 each. Um, and then next is um, Thor's Hammer Warmer. And I am not particularly like um, a Marvel, like uh, superhero comic book kind of fan, but I think these products are awesome. So here is the Thor's, oops, ha I'm going the wrong way. Thor's hammer uh, warmer. And um, it is $75, but it's really incredibly detailed. Just if you, <laughs> so it actually is, um, it has a lot of detail like on the on the handle and it like has the strap on the handle and then I don't know if you can make it out on on my um, on the screen but it says whosoever holds this hammer if they be worthy shall possess the power of Thor and so I think that's really really cool um, and then I love the like the sort of let me get on here um, the lightning in the rocks that's pretty awesome i think it's gorgeous um anyway the description is there anything else to share um so the new thor's handle the new thor's hammer since warmer is the ultimate collector's item inspired by thor from marvel's avengers it's inscribed with the quote uh, that i just read and it even comes with a blue light bulb for a heroic glow. That's awesome. I love our colored bulbs. If you haven't tried those, um, they actually come in, I believe they're in all the wattages now. So they were just in 25 and then they added the 15s and I believe we have 20s now. So awesome. Um, so you can get a warmer bundle. So if you get, um, you can buy the Thor's hammer warmer and the Marvel Nine Realms Scentsy Bar and get the um, the warmer at 50% off 
So it would be, I don't understand that. Buy the Thor's hammer since you want to Marvel Marvel and get the Marvel since you warmer at 50% off. I don't understand. Anyway, um, I'll have to ask about that. Anyway, um, and then there's the Marvel Heroes bundle. Bundle. If you, oh, I think I know. I'll have to look. Anyway, um, so you get the Thor's hammer, Sensi Warmer, the Groot Sensi Buddy, and Marvel Nine Realms scent pack. Um, and get the Rocket Sensi Buddy clip for free, which was would be $110, and you'd save $20. So I wonder if they mean the Marvel Avengers one. You'd get 50% off. Um, I'll have to check that out. Anyway, so that releases tomorrow as well. Um, then next... Um, we have the Festive Fresh Collection, which is, um, let me see if I can show you this image. Uh, here we go. So we have, um, I don't think that's going to show up very well, but we have some um, body products up here. We have some um, cleaning products um, here and here, and then I think that also is cleaning. Um, so let me tell you what we have. Um, it's called Festive Fresh Collection, and so we have clean body and laundry products. Okay, so we have Dancing Sugar Plums, which I think is a great scent. Um, we have that in the body wash hand cream and soak um, and then the hand soap and then in the clean we um, I'm sorry the hand soap is available in very snowy spruce and appleberry um, winterberry apple tea and then the clean products we have the counter clean um, available in snow, very snowy spruce and winterberry apple tea and dish soap is also available in those two fragrances um, as for the laundry products, we have Snow Kiss Cranberry in the Scentsy Fresh. If you've never used Scentsy Fresh, you are definitely missing out. Um, it's sort of like, um, it's a fragrance refresh, or sorry, a fabric refresher. So like you can freshen up your bed every day. Like so between changing, so you, so you change your, your linens on Saturday or Sunday. You know, who doesn't like fresh sheets, right? I love fresh sheets. So... Here comes the Scentsy Fresh. You just freshen your sheets and then make your bed and you can freshen your um, your comforter or your quilt or whatever you have um, on top of your bed. Um, and then, yeah, keeps your, your bed nice and uh, fresh. Um, and then the, the last release we have coming tomorrow is the Bring Back My Buddy launch. So this was supposed to come out in September, but... Um, with the supply chain um, delays, we're only releasing now. But see these cuties? They're releasing tomorrow. So we have um, Hamish the Highland Cow. And I have him from when he was around initially. And he is adorable. He reminds me, if you know the Hershey's uh, Chocolate Milk commercial from, I think, the 80s. Um, where do... Where does Hershey's chocolate milk come from? Um, chocolate cows on a chocolate farm. <laughs> that That's what he reminds me of. And so I think Hug and a Mug scent pack goes great with him. Anyway, because that smells like hot chocolate. Um, so we have um, also Oakley the Owl and Tex the T-Rex, which I'm not familiar with Tex the T-Rex, but definitely know um, Oakley the Owl. Um, and I think both are really, really cute. They make great holiday gifts for for children or adults. But, um, yeah, so those are $35 each, and they come with your choice of scent pack. So all of this that I just went over, the four releases for tomorrow, they are going to launch tomorrow, November 22nd, between 1230 and 130 
p.m. Eastern Time, um, and then that's 9.30 and 10.30 Pacific in the morning. Um, and then usually it's around that 1 p.m. mark, but it definitely can be any time in that hour window. Um, if you um, if you want to pick that up, just visit my website. You'll be in a queuing system. Um, so when you um, when you get on and you get into the queuing system, when the products are launching, don't refresh. Just let it let it be, and you'll keep your place. It's not going to get you in any faster if you refresh your screen. Um, but yeah, so just go to my website tomorrow. Or if you want to pick up the other things, you can go now. Um, but tomorrow for the launches, um, SashaSmells.com um, or SashaPew.Cincy.us, whichever way you want to go in, um, Sasha, uh, SashaSmells.com will just redirect you to my Cincy website. So um, if you have any questions, definitely let me know. And I will um, post up some um some photos of the, the releases that are coming tomorrow and um, I thank you for hanging out with me if you watched if you didn't watch I hope you're watching on the replay and if you are just let me know I'd love to uh, interact with you thanks have a good night